Hi, English 4391 peeps. How you doing? Hope this finds you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Uh, for those of you who celebrate Easter, I hope you um, found a way to have some joy and some fun. Um, we did homemade cascarones, which are those confetti eggs. Um, and then we broke them over each other. I did some barbecue. Uh, attended church virtually. It was, it, it was a nice time. It was different, but we managed to have some family time. Uh, looped in the uh, sun in Houston a little bit uh, over the phone as well. So anyway, so this week, um, exciting stuff. First of all, kudos, 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 I salam at your awesomeness. Uh, TAM UCC students really took the lead in creating those questions that got sent to the Epsilon Corporation. Um, I, was in I was really pleased with the questions overall, and if you look at the comment thread, it was really clear that uh, TAM UCC students uh, took the initiative in coming up with questions we're good about communicating with students from other universities tactfully and uh, negotiating, hey, let's combine these questions. Hey, why don't we add this or things like that. And as a group, I was really impressed with you all. I, I wanted to mention that to you. Uh, good stuff. So the theory is, uh, and I just mention this because every time um, I have a solid date with you, uh, it doesn't pan out. But the theory is that all those questions have been sent to the people at Epsilon, and they are busily in their own socially distant way working on those questions, and we should get that data back on the 15th, uh, which will be Wednesday. Ojalá, God willing, hopefully that'll work out. If not, I'll get that data to you as quickly as I can. So, uh, what are we doing? We're working on our uh, problem solution paper, and we are thinking about the poster presentation, which I realize most of us won't do, and we're uh, hopefully preparing to put final touches on our web portfolio. So, uh, first things first, the problem solution paper. Um, I know it sounds weird to do a reading assignment, but I actually want you to reread the problem solution paper because it gives very specific uh, uh, suggestions about organization and what needs to be included in those sections. Um, I realize I'm talking fast, I had a lot of coffee. I also don't have a lot of time left on my video. Uh, because my camera is getting full. Another story. Anyway, um, so the organization is a, best, a thousand words uh, anal uh, problem analysis and program so proposed solution, and they want you to um, talk about. Uh, well, I won't read the the out loud the uh, assignment, but they want you to talk about the solution, uh, the problem at solution and a bunch of other things in only a thousand words. And then the uh, 2,000 word, the longer section, is the lit review section, um, which you talk about uh, what's been done, you summarize, you make conclusions, and again, all that details in, in the uh, solution. So that's about a 3,000 word uh, paper that's due uh, pretty much complete by next Friday, by a week from Friday, uh, and that is a hard deadline. That's not a deadline I can flex on. Um, so. What I'm asking you to do is reread the, that assignment, uh, and also I'm asking you to reread the poster presentation uh, assignment as well. Now I realize most of us are not going to do the poster presentation, but whatever student or students represent our class in the competition are going to uh, represent our work. So I want you to reread the poster presentation and think about what data needs to go in it, what sections need to be part of that poster. Um, in what order, what data do you feel really is essentially that it gets in there as well, and uh, what graphics or visuals do you think should be in there. Um, and just a little bit about the poster presentation. A poster presentation is a way visually to uh, present the work that you've done all semester long. Basically, in one massive, massive graphic, it'll be about three feet by four feet, obviously, you have to organize it on PowerPoint, and there is a way to do that, uh, to make a poster presentation on PowerPoint. Uh, you need to organize everything visually into um, one document that uh, isn't too text-heavy, that gives essential words and graphics to teach what we want to teach. Um, so, And then, those are going to lead into your writing assignments, because for both of those, I want you to basically uh, do some writing. For the first part, I want you to do your third update on your problem solution paper, and I've broken up into two ways. I want you to address uh, each in a separate section on your update, the uh, analysis and proposed solution paper, and 
in your lit review section and I want to know the answer to three questions for both uh, things. What work has your group done? What still needs to be done? And who specifically is responsible for doing that part of the work? And the same thing with your, your, lit, your lit review. So basically two questions uh, or, or two sections, three answers for a total of six questions answered in your update number three on your problem solution. And then the, thir uh, the second thing I want you to do in the right portion of the day is I'd like you to um, basically make your suggestions about what should go in the poster presentation. Um, so press ahead. I know it's uh, odd and disjointed. I know we're working at home. Am I doing enough? Am I not doing enough? Uh, am I doing too much? Uh, weird not to have the structure of class and all our other work and things like that as well. But um, really, uh, I think this class is doing remarkably well. I've heard from everybody. Uh, people are turning in their work and getting updates. Um, and you guys are, have risen to the challenge admirably well. So press ahead, and I look forward to seeing more of your writing. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.